A developing story this weekend, the U.K. government reversing a plan to scrap the top rate of income tax after public backlash and major market turbulence. CNBC's Arabile Goumede is standing by in Birmingham, where British conservatives have gathered ahead of this fiscal U-turn by Truss. And Arabile, this is a, a crazy situation. It gets a little convoluted, but the ta tax rate there, I think, was 45 percent. They had planned to roll it back to 40 percent. And now we're saying, uh-oh, it uh, doesn't look like the markets will accept this. Yeah, so a few credibility issues coming to the fore, right, Becky? It certainly is the case. Early this morning, we got word then that the UK Chancellor of the Exchequer, that being the Finance Minister, uh, Kwasi Kwarteng, had decided to reverse his decision that he had set forth on uh, September the 23rd, which was to cancel and abolish, as he had put it, that upper tax rate uh, of 45%, which, of course, impacted the wealthy. Today, doing away with the abolishing of that uh, top tax bracket and instead saying that it had become a distraction to what he believes was still a great growth plan for the UK economy. Markets have stabilized somewhat on the back of that. We saw the pound early this morning uh, gain around seven tenths of a percent. That strength perhaps weakening off just a little bit. We even saw uh, predictions on interest rates perhaps not set to hit that six percent mark and instead hit around 5.5 to 5.75. It doesn't take away, of course, that impact on the gilt market where the BOE, the Bank of England, has indeed intervened and said that they will throw around £5 billion per day to uh, try and shore up that gilt market. So questions around stability still at the fore. We are expecting Kwasi Kwarteng to still speak to the market, and that's set to happen uh, in around four hours' time. And that will give a clearer message then to the market as to where to from here and perhaps give a sentiment as to what the the mandate is then from the Conservative Party here at the conference in Birmingham, England.